in the United States, we're trying to reach a goal when it comes to COVID-19 vaccinations. At least 70% of Americans receiving at least one dose by July 4th. The current administration has announced a plan and lots of companies are pitching in to help with these efforts. So if you've been putting off vaccination, maybe this episode will help you get going. That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. The Biden administration is enacting the National Month of Action to try and increase the number of Americans who've received their first COVID-19 vaccine to 70% by July 4th. We're already at 63%. So what measures are being taken to push that number up another 7%? One is to address the potential ripple costs of being vaccinated. Even though the vaccine is free, things like childcare while you go to get it are not. To help address this, four of the largest child care providers will be chipping in to help out. Kinder Care and Learning Care Group will be offering free drop-in appointments to caregivers receiving and or recovering from vaccination. Over 500 YMCAs are offering free drop-in care for caregivers with vaccination appointments. And Bright Horizons is providing free child care for vaccination of workers at participating organizations. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is also encouraging states to provide financial incentives for local child care providers to participate in this initiative, with funds coming from the American Rescue Plan. June will also see extended pharmacy hours on Fridays at chains like Albertsons, CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. This is intended to help those with less flexibility in their schedules to find time for an appointment. Vaccination education and outreach will also be expanded via canvassing, phone, and text banking, and vaccination events, including a national vaccination tour by the vice president. Vaccine education segments will be included in local programming thanks to the efforts of the National Association of Broadcasters. A new initiative called Shots at the Shop will be initiated at Black-owned barbershops and beauty salons thanks to the efforts of the Black Coalition Against COVID, the University of Maryland Center for Health Equity, and Shea Moisture. Colleges and universities are also being encouraged to take action. As part of this COVID-19 college challenge, campuses will be given training sessions, toolkits, and educational material, as well as help with on-site vaccinations and launching of a student corps to engage the larger student community. Lyft and Uber are also offering free rides to vaccination sites, and several other companies are also stepping up to help incentivize Americans to get their vaccine. If America reaches that 70% goal, Anheuser-Busch will give free beer to all adults over the age of 21 on July 4th. Kroger's doing a sweepstakes to give $1 million to a vaccinated person every week in June, and they're giving free groceries for a year to dozens of vaccinated Americans. Both Acme and Albertsons are offering 10% off your purchase after vaccination at one of their pharmacies. Bumble, Hinge, and Tinder are offering premium content to users who show their vaccination status on the app. Major League Baseball is offering free tickets in June, and the National Football League is doing a merch discount plus a drawing for a chance to win 50 tickets to the Super Bowl. We'll include a link in the description below to all of the incentives available so far. Be sure to check out the section for special employee rewards. Quite a few places are offering cash to associates who get vaccinated, and lots of others are offering paid time off for vaccination, including some offering up to 13 hours of extra pay. Here at Healthcare Triage, we like to think that getting vaccinated and achieving overall high vaccination rates are rewards enough, but if an incentive or two can help us reach that goal, we're happy to spread the word. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on decreased buprenorphine regulation. We'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe down below and consider going to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you can help support the show even during a global pandemic. We'd like to especially thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Josh Gister, Michael Chin, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.